It is because uh, I'm not trying to criticize anybody. It's just that I discover now in America, I don't know anywhere else because uh, I'm not anywhere else <laughs> in America. There is a trend in physical wise. A lot of people like to wear broken paint, tail up here, there. Okay, uh, it's supposed to be thrown away, but they call it fashion. That's a trend. But that trend, I don't, I don't care if, as long as they don't wear it to the church, because it will be a uh, shame for the husband does not have enough money to uh, buy presentable clothing. I don't know how to put it. But uh, there's a very dangerous trend. It's for the destruction of the Church of Christ. As children do not go to church to worship God with their parents. Children do not go to church to worship God with their children. It's a very dangerous trend. <coughs> because if that is the case, the Church of Christ will be disappeared very, very soon. And this is Satan's <coughs> most de uh, effective way to wipe out all the Church of Christ in America or all over the world. This is an urgent issue because I but we just encountered last Sunday. I remember, I'm not criticizing anybody else, because, but it brought up my attention. It is an urgency. Last Sunday, we have a great, great friend, Mendes family here. Their children was not, were not here. And uh, I was expecting four of them, but I only see the parents. Remember, I'm not criticizing anybody. Just that this is a uh, trend happening among American uh, Church of Christ. Uh, it's a dangerous trend, so we have to uh, uh, be aware. That's it, okay? I asked him, I thought your children here with you. He said uh, they were still sleeping in the hotel. Or the entirely uh, walking or sleeping in a bed in, in at home. <laughs> okay. Remember, we're here to learn the Bible. This is a very dangerous train. A lot of American Church of Christ. They are young people, they are children, go to the Baptist, go to community church. They don't go to Church of Christ, or just don't go at all. But that uh, alert me, we have to share some scripture in the Bible, very, very important. So please be careful. Let's learn what this Bible said. Obey, disobey, question mark. For me, myself, I'm the first generation chosen to believe Jesus. Okay? I have to rebel, disobey my parents. My parents want me to continue to worship Buddha, but I disobey. They go to temple, I go to church. They worship Idol, Buddha, I worship the Almighty God. I disobey. And that's why I'm here in the Church of Christ. For salvation, eternal life of the soul, you have to disobey. But when your parents is in the Church of Christ, you have to obey. If you do not obey, you will be in hell. Judgment is already set, S-E-T. No more inquiry needed. This is Romans chapter 1, 30 to 32. 
God already set the punishment. Disobedient, disobedient children will go to hell. Disobedient children will go to hell. Okay, we'll come to the scripture. But first, let's clear this one first. Religious teacher obey Acts 5.29 to preach their religion in China. This <coughs> Peter, you see, what's okay? Peter, Peter replied, we must obey God rather than man. China has an ordinance. Any outsider, especially teacher from America, are uh, not <coughs> allowed to teach religion in China. It's a clear forbidden ordinance. No foreigner, outsider, to be exact and accurate. Actually, they, that regulation means if you're in Shanghai, when you go to Beijing, you cannot teach. You, can, you are assigned to teach in Shanghai. Not in, when we go to Beijing, you cannot teach religion. Especially the most hated religious teacher is from America. Okay, they have a very clear ordinance. Foreigner not allowed to teach America. But we know that a lot of religious teachers went to China, disobey their ordinance. They quote this verse. Okay, Peter said, We must obey God rather than man. God wants us to go to China to preach religion. We come. We will come to China to teach religion. You like it or not, we will come and we will teach. You can rest us and kill us, put us in jail. That's the attitude. Okay? Obey God. Acts chapter 5, 29. Put it in your mind very clear. They obey God, but disobey men. Now, here we got this one. <clears throat> Religious teacher disobey what Peter wrote. Peter wrote what? Submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. Very clear, simple. For the Lord's sake, obey every ordinance of man. China have an ordinance. Foreigner, especially teachers from America, are not to teach religion in China. For the Lord's sake, obey. Now we got a case right here. They obey what Apostle Peter said, S-A-I-D, but disobey what Peter wrote. Not this Peter, okay. <laughs> not this Peter. They disobey what Peter wrote. They obey what Peter said. Oh, obey or disobey. Make clear, okay? Obey or disobey. To whom was they directed? To religious leader, Peter said, don't obey them. We obey God, we don't obey religious teacher. Acts chapter 5, you read the context into the high priest order them not to preach in the name of Jesus Christ. Peter said, we will preach. You will kill us. God wants us to preach. 
you tell me not to preach, you can kill me. They did kill him. Right? They did succeed. It. Nail him to the cross upside down, according to the history that we found. Yeah, Peter said, I will obey God, not you. You will kill me. And end up, when said, they really nailed Peter upside down. They killed him. But Peter also wrote, Obey every ordinance of man. He is directing to the Roman Empire, Roman government. Is this text, this John Chen to come to explain this? Uh, let me do it one more time. In Hong Kong, my parents, all the Chinese parents, instruct, teach their children to worship Buddha with them. Okay? I can disobey. But ordinance for the British government, you have to obey. If you do not obey government ordinance, they will put you in jail. Sophia, remember, government order we have to obey. But religious, different religion, we don't have to obey. And I'm still here. Like today, we obey what says in the New Testament Bible. We do not obey what the Buddhist monk teach. We do not obey what Baptists teach. Okay? Because government, we in America, we have constitution protection, freedom of speech, freedom of belief. Okay? So, to the ordinance, to the government, Roman Empire, you have to obey. To religious order, you can disobey. Now, get it into your head. Very important. Those religious teachers and their followers will all go to hell. Matthew 23, 15. Matthew 23, 15. All the religious teachers in China will all end up in hell, including their followers. If they succeeded to convert people, they will all be in hell. Let me explain one little bit. There's no such thing called religious teacher. No one should ever raise up a Bible to lie, to fool, to deceive that they teach a religion. New Testament Bible do not teach a religion. They teach the truth. They teach the word of the Lord. They teach the word of God. Then Jesus order them, command them, go into all the world, teach all nations, all creation, the gospel, G-O-S-P-E-L, the gospel, the truth in the New Testament. Whatever I told you, command them to follow, to practice, to believe, and to practice what I have told you what Jesus had told us, the truth in the New Testament Bible, never religion. As a matter of fact, one time I, I preached a lesson. I hope they will remember. I think the last time I went up to listen to it again, I enjoyed that. <coughs> uh, two or three hundred people Maybe about 10 of them for myself. Or if you count the view, how many view? Okay. Religion is a H-O-A-X. All the religion, I don't care what religion they are, H-O-A-X. When you raise up this Bible and teach a religion, you will go to hell. 
And if anybody listen to you, you take them to hell double time. You study Matthew 23, 15. Remember, the New Testament is a set, H-E-T, guideline for us to follow. And the Church of Christ is about righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. That's what we stand for. That's what we teach. Not religion. Religion is a hope. H-O-A-X. Religion created by people. God, Jesus Christ, created what? A kingdom of God. Acts chapter 1. Starting in verse 3. He talked to the people after his resurrection for 40 days. About what? Kingdom of God, not religion. What is a kingdom of God? The Church of Christ. Jesus is talking about building a Church of Christ, not a religion. Clear to your head, please. Here is another one. As I said, this will turn out to be a very important and wonderful lesson. Among the Jewish people, you have to disobey. Among all Jewish people, if you have you have to obey, you have to disobey. If you have to obey, you all go to hell with them. Because Jewish family will not allow you to read the New Testament Bible. They practice Old Testament. When they practice Old Testament, you'll all be dead. Right here. Deuteronomy 21, 20 to 21. They shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn, rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him to death. You see, instruction from the Bible. If you believe Jesus, <coughs> you will die by stoning to death. You have to disobey them and get killed for salvation in Jesus Christ. Because all the Jewish people will not allow their children to read the New Testament. All their children are forbidden to depart to watch anything else except the Old Testament Bible. So in that case, just like myself, all my generation before me, they worship Buddha. I was the first one disobeyed. I become a saved person in the church of Christ. I have to disobey. Make it clear. Okay, if I obey, I go to hell with them. Among the Jewish people, the same thing. If they obey, all the Jews obey their tradition in the Old Testament. Actually, nobody do that. Okay, like, have you ever seen in our generation, even in my generation, not save you. Your generation is only 50, right? <laughs> my generation 85. I never see a Jew's parent stone his children to death. If they don't observe anything. They just say whatever they want, okay? But this is the case in the Bible. Israel, okay, shall hear and fear no Israel children can disobey not to follow their parents. Okay? Anyone do not follow their parents to go to the synagogue to worship. Stone to death. Now, here is another case. 500 years ago, Roman Catholic Church 
kill their children. 500 some years ago, Roman Catholic Church. That's how America created people in Europe persecuted so badly. So they run to a new found land called America because they were persecuted. I still remember 1995, I visited Europe and we specially take a trip to Vatican, especially to the place where they used to kill Jesus believers, refuse to obey Roman Catholic religion. They have a ditch, a, a place down there, a people, all the Christians who failed to obey their Roman Catholic Church will be fed to the lions, hungry lions. Hungry lions kill them to death alive. When I was standing over there and look at the, the train down there and thought about those first generation New Testament Church of Christ people got killed, ate up alive by lions. I dropped here right there. When I thought about at that time they killed people who do not obey Roman Catholic Church regulation. This is in the history, not in the Bible, 500 years ago. And that's how America gets started. People run away because they don't want to get killed and they don't want to be Roman Catholic Church. But here, only the Chinese understand because Chinese had translated Roman Catholic Church, not Roman Catholic Church. They call it religion of the Lord in heaven. Tian Zhu Gao. Tian Zhu Gao. heaven, okay? Not sky, okay? I'm Hei Moser. I'm trying to help her to uh, understand English. <laughs> In this way, it's not sky, okay? Tian is heaven. Jiao is zhong jiao. Okay? Tian is jiao. Shenjing mei you. That's not in the Bible. And not in the English world. You know English, right? English world do not call Tian is jiao. Uh, religion of heaven. Not that. Right. They call Roman Catholic Church. Okay? <coughs> it's Roman Catholic Church. They kill, they try to kill Martin Luther. Remember? Anybody know the scripture? But somehow they fell. <laughs> but he's still dead, okay? You see, Martin Luther came up. He does not want to be Roman Catholic anymore. And he nailed on Vatican, okay, 95 mistakes. They had to kill him. So in that case, hey, all the Roman Catholic people, remember, you have to disobey. You don't disobey, you go to hell. In that case, you have to disobey. You obey, connect to Roman Catholic, you will go to hell. Hey, Moses, don't be scared, okay? Not many people watch my video. By the time we have 10,000 people watching my video, I'm not here. So, <laughs> I feel very, Tommy, I'm very thankful to God. God keep me unknown. Keep me humble so I can preach the truth. If this thing, if I have 7 million people listen to my preaching today, I said, 
If you don't disobey Roman Catholic Church, you'll go to hell. What happened? Don't imagine. <laughs> Got it. But it's true in the Bible. You have to disobey. If you are in a Roman Catholic Church, you have to disobey. If you don't disobey, you go to hell with them. According to the Bible. Anybody want to know? Welcome. I say by the grace of God, last week I was very, very busy. Quite often, a, very, a few times, people come in to study the Bible, okay? And uh, 500 years ago, if you don't listen to your parents in the Roman Catholic, you get killed. Even British Empire, you see, their king, their, their king, have to listen to the Pope. Okay, this is history. I learned it from Hong Kong. We have world history. But here is another case. 1500 years ago, 2000 years ago, okay? 2000 years ago, all the churches, a church of Christ, 1500 years, 2000 to 1500, that's 500 years. All the church in America, uh, in the world, is Church of Christ. Where comes the Roman Catholic? Out of Church of Christ. They came out from the Church of Christ. I say, it is the tragedy. Hey, Peter. The Church of Christ should have... God, what is this? The church of God, if the church of God did this, do we have Roman Catholic? We don't have Roman Catholic. Roman Catholic came out from the church of Christ. It did, you know, you, you know that? History, common sense. All the church, we're all church of Christ. Romans 16, 16. Galatians 122. All the church of the church of Christ. Where it comes to Roman Catholic? Out of the Roman, out of the Church of Christ, but the Church of Christ practice righteousness, peace, and joy, and love, and they did not kill them like the Roman Catholic kill other people. The Church of Christ did not kill them, but in New had Roman Catholic Church. This is common sense. Okay? Just hypothetically, if the Roman Catholic, uh, if the Church of Christ, 1500 years ago, all the world are Church of Christ, Church of Christ, anyone depart from the Church of Christ and have denominated church, then we don't have denominated church with the Roman Catholic. That's logic, common sense. And in fact, Bible said disobedient children will go to hell. Romans chapter 1, 30, 32. The judgment is already set. No more judgment needed. These two scriptures make it very clear. Disobedient children will go to hell. Reality predicted in Luke chapter 12, 53. They shall be divided. You know what divided me? Against each other. Like we played a game, you know that? We divide into two teams. This team against a team against each other. Okay? Here the case. Father against son. Son against father. Daughter against mother. Mother against daughter. This one is amazing. Mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law. In China, you may say, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. <laughs> In this day called believe Jesus, practice openly. Even husband and wife Every husband and wife. Husband believe this, wife believe that. 
Like in America, husband vote for Republican, wife vote for Democrat. <laughs> okay? They divide and they engage each other. I'm talking about believe Jesus. Okay? It is the Father's duty. Hey, Moses, it is the Father's duty. Also, remind, <laughs> be reminded. Father, provoke not your children to wrath, but nurture them in the chastening and admonition of the Lord. It is the Father's duty. Okay? Do not push away your responsibility. Okay, reality upon us among these people was this. In the Roman Catholic Church, you have to disobey. In anything beside Church of Christ, you have to disobey. Starting from me, myself, and I. I'm talking about how many people? Me, myself, and I. Okay? I do not worship Buddha anymore. I disobey. I mean the Church of Christ. But if my children disobey me, they'll go to hell. Understand now? Huh? Hey, Cindy, a joy. Understand now? Huh? Because I'm in the Church of Christ. They have to obey. If they do not obey, they'll go to hell. <clears throat> Only that said, stubborn and rebellious children can be saved. You see? They that said want you to stick with Jewish religion. You that said, I don't want to. I want to go to the Church of Christ. Against each other. Let me repeat that story. Now I can say 50 years ago. I was here, 1974. Okay? The, the beginning and the end come together. 50 years ago when I arrived in the university, my office in Wall Street Center, we had one floor. Not to myself, okay? I'm the only one of them. And we have one we have one preacher for the Jews. For the to preach for the Jews. He told me, I always remember. He said, John, I asked him, I said, how did you do that? He said, John, I have to pay a great price. The day I got baptized in the Church of Christ, my parents had a funeral for me. They literally have a funeral with a casket. <coughs> Write it on, paper, on the paper of his name put it in the casket and move to the synagogue and they have a funeral for him. Our son, so and so, from now on, he is D-A-E-D. -E -D. Okay, I always remember, he is dead. My son is dead from now on. The day he got baptized, their parents consider he is dead. He disobeyed to the point that his parents had a funeral for him. Had to disobey in order to be baptized for repentance sin. And the Lord put him into the Church of Christ. And David, remember that. You can tell the story, repeat that. In that case, that's why I say as a Jewish people, person, you have to disobey. That said, disobeyed. See, Jesus disobeyed. They nailed him. Peter disobeyed. They nailed him. Apostle Paul disobeyed. They chopped his head off. Lots of people get killed. You see, so many people killed by the Jewish religion, killed by the Roman Catholic in the history. Lots of people get killed. We are blessed. Their struggle succeeded. Today we are free. 
and can even say, Roman Catholic people, if their children do not disobey them, they will go to hell. Jewish people the same thing. They can't even read the New Testament Bible. <coughs> you see, they can pass sea and land to make converts. After con conversion, they make them twice more son of hell. You see, that I say, anyone go to China, teach a religion, they will go to hell. Anyone follow them, will go to hell together. That's the scripture here. Okay, Jesus said that. <clears throat> in all other religions, in all denomination church, you have to disobey. Uh, let me repeat one more time. 50, uh, 40 some, almost 50 years ago, before we move here, we will uh, one room uh, above that, on the uh, above of Ben or at the restaurant, the second floor, 109, room 109. At one time, we have a college student came to study Bible. And he said, uh, next Sunday I will come to, be, to get baptized here. And the next Sunday, he came, but he quiet. He said, I cannot. He cried bitterly, college student. He said, my mother would not allow me. I said, why? He said, uh, my mother said, when my father died, that Baptist church helped us a lot. We cannot leave this church. We will stay with the Baptist church. He cried. He cannot disobey. So he has to go to hell with a Baptist. When I preach like this, any Baptist like to hear? But by the grace of God, even, the, 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 even if they hear, they watch my video, they say, uh, this guy is ignorant. We Baptist, we will go to heaven. They will, I tell you, they will not get mad at me. They just say, this Johnson is crazy. But you know that, I'm talking about what's said in the Bible. <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Denomination is not allowed. Titus chapter 3, 10 and 11. This last Sunday, uh, this last week, at least I have three times quote that scripture. Denomination people, you have to disobey your parents. If you don't, if you don't disobey your parents, you will go to hell with them. The oppression is what sinful self-condemn. Even their beloved NIV Bible translate that. But if you let me translate from the original text, the oppression is sick in the head, thinking upside down. That's worse. They go to hell. So in the denomination, you have to disobey. And they make them twice son of hell. You see? You see? Even college student, he has to listen to his mother. Mother said, when your father died, that teacher helped us a lot. We cannot leave the Baptist church. We have to stay. <coughs> in, some, in some way, <coughs> hey David, in some way I admire them. There are people that dedicated to their church. Okay? Somehow, Moses and Audrey watch a lot. This church have a lot of people, right? But they can leave. <laughs> no trace. Let's <laughs> let you have this. Then what can you say? Hey, Peter, what do you think? I'm just telling you the reality. This is a lesson we have to learn. Because I sense very dangerous, the church of Christ will be disappear. If we don't make this message known to everywhere, if children in the church of Christ do not go to the church of Christ, they all go to hell. Romans chapter 1, 30 to 32. And if they want to go to hell, what can you do? 
Let them go. That's what you do. Okay? But this is the fact and the truth. To me, you see, in America, they become like that. What is the time now? Not working? <laughs> One minute. <laughs> now keep going. We are 12.30 or 12.20? Take your time. That's not matter, huh? That's not matter. Okay. <laughs> This is very important. Ah, uh, David, do you have to go? This is very important. It's about the church life. If children don't come to church with their parents, we're gone. You see, this is very effective. And slowly eating into the church life so that it be destroyed. To me, this has become impossible. You know that? I'm watching Chinese church of Christ going down. You know that? I have to watch they go down. Every, every. And when it's only the two, oh, every Sunday, here, at least I still have Moses, Peter, David, Gordon. So many people here have together. They are children, you know that? Go to Baptist. Their children go to anywhere else but the Church of Christ. They have their reason. But here, this lesson made very clear. Okay, make no mistake. Romans chapter 1, 30 to 32. Disobedient children will go to hell. Judgment has already been set. Is that good English? Everybody understand Moses? If children disobey their parents, they'll go to hell. Romans chapter 1, 30 to 32. We have to make this message loud and clear at least let them know if they depart from the church of Christ if they disobey us they will go to hell at least let them open up their eyes to go to hell <coughs> if they choose to do it so be it but my responsibility is telling them the truth be clear headed Disobedient, this kind of disobedient people will go to hell. Noah, his children, if they disobey, they die both ways, physical and the soul. Noah, his children, have to follow him. Cornelius, all his family, gather together in his house, follow Jesus, get back right together. Okay? Okay, here is a Cornelius said, <coughs> fasten his eye, okay? Get Peter here to preach to you. And Peter came, came in. Cornelius was waiting for them, having called together his kinsmen and near friend. Kinsmen. All my children, right here, listen to your preaching. All my children got baptized together with me. If they disobey, they all go to hell. <clears throat> Doubt well done had come. Now we are here, pre the, uh, here present in the sight of God. To hear all things God has commanded you to tell us. Okay? Not what you say. We want what God said. God wants you to tell us everything. Don't miss anything. And He committed them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the whole family. Philippian jailer family. 
brought him out and asked, Sir, what must we do? Uh, what must I do to be saved? He said, Believe Jesus to go. You will be saved. And your family, you see that whole house. Your whole family. And they spoke the word of the Lord unto him and where? All his family. Everyone. Not one skip. All my children, all my friends are here. Listen to the word of God. And all of them got baptized. Any children in this family disobey will go to hell. And the judgment has already been set. Okay? Conclusion now. Disobedient children among saved people in the church of Christ will go to hell. Perfect. Any children not in the church of Christ, you have to disobey. That said disobey. And then you can have salvation. But your parents in the church of Christ, they have to disobey. All disobedient children among the church of Christ people, they all go to hell. By the grace of God, I think I had make it clear, right, David? If not clear, you repeat them, okay? Uh, David, come to say closing prayer. Thank you.